Hi guys, it's Sean from SLT Remapping. Today I'm going to cover a quick video on how to extract a mod file from a vehicle you've done before. So let's say for instance you've done an ID file before uh, and you've tuned it and it comes back six months later or whenever it comes back later you want to add a, an EGR delete to it. Normally we'd ask you to ID it again and send it over and have to pay for the tune file again and then we'll, we'll we'd add the EGR delete. We found a nice way around this. Uh, which will save both both parties time and save you a little bit of money on weight. So here you can see we've got an ID file uh, which is I and O, so original uh, and ID and then we've got one that says modified. Now if we right click the one that says modified it says send file. If you click this it'll ask you if you want to want to dispatch this file to race manager. Click yes where do you want to put it? Desktop. OK. This will now produce a file. This file is basically the tune file that's been written onto the vehicle. So let's minimize this. You can see the file is here. What you'd do is you'd now take a new ID from the vehicle. You'd extract that as normal. You'd put these two, raw, two files into a raw file. So you put this <clears throat> Let me just find uh, another modified file. So you can see you've got the file that we just extracted which says M001 which is a modified file. That's a stage one that. And then this one here is a completely stock, ve stock, stock vehicle. So this would be the new ID. All you do is drag these two into your raw file. Inside there now is both your files. You'd upload that to Portal as normal, and in the notes put what this car's already been previously tuned. Now we want to add EGR delete to it. All we do now is we'd add EGR delete to the stage one that's already there. Or even if you'd done stage one, let's say, and DPF off, and we took some DTCs out in it. Before we used to have to guesswork and try and remember what we'd done prior. With this, we don't. We've got the file there, so we know exactly what's been written on it. So now we can just add whatever we need to to it which saves us time but also saves you money in the long run. I hope this video helps.